Ukrainian forces reveal new Russian tactics after losing aircraft. Russian troops have taken a more balanced approach to the use of aviation after the downing of three Su-34s in the Kherson region on December the 22nd. At the moment, some changes in the tactics of Russian strikes in the south are being recorded, according to Natalia Humeniuk, head of the Joint Coordination Press Center of the Southern Defense Forces of Ukraine. There is no critical change in the tactics. There is a change in the number and density of these strikes. Indeed, the Russian occupiers have become very careful about using tactical aviation, taking into account the fact that aircraft were hit in this area, and they are trying to find other launch sites so as not to endanger their aircraft, she says. In addition, according to Humeniuk, Another change in the tactical behavior of the Russians has been recorded. When one launches guided aerial bombs, the other tries to cover it. Previously, it was group raids and launches of the guided aerial bombs from several directions, but we are seeing exactly this tactic. The spokeswoman adds, Russia's daily airstrikes on the Tavria front have dramatically plummeted following the destruction of four Russian Su-34 fighter jets by the Ukrainian armed forces last week. Tavria Defense Forces spokesperson Alexander Stupun told Radio Liberty. The invaders have opted for a reduced air arsenal, relying solely on Su-25 attack aircraft and Ka-52 attack helicopters for strikes in the Tavria operational zone since the destruction of the Russian aircraft in the Donetsk Oblast, Stupun said. In similar terms, the number of airstrikes has plummeted. Previously, we saw 15, 17 and even up to 20 per day. For instance, the day before yesterday witnessed only three airstrikes and yesterday there were seven, he said.